Hello there, this is Carlo. Welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Today we're looking at Facewear Live 2.0. So what I'm going to try and do is teach you guys how to set it up from scratch um, and how it works basically. So let's begin. So first of all is the setup process. Um, I'm just going to um, look for... Um, I'm just going to go to my Facewear, uh, my live server. I'm just going to open it up. Um, but this is a trial. I will be getting the um, full version. So I'm just going to OK the trial. And as soon as you open it, you're presented with this little video. Now, obviously, it's um, a case of this needs to stream um, information from your face um, onto the relevant motion or uh, animation program that you use, whether it's Motion Builder, um, whether it's Softimage, Maya, or 3ds Max. But for this one, we're going to be using a uh, uh, motion builder. Okay, so as you can see here, um, we have our port number, which is 5373. Uh, for that, you would need to look up the information, your IP address and information of your computer. Um, get the uh, port number. Um, it's the last few digits, last four digits after your IP address, after the colon. So look it up on how to find that. And once you get that, we need to set everything up. So I'm just going to open up this little dialog box up here. It's known as video setup. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up to, I'm going to leave everything the way it is here. Um, I'm going to open up my calibration. And as you can see, by default, um, it says Pro HD camera. Okay. Um, so that's our default setting. But we're not going to use that. We're going to use the camera that I'm using. Um, and it's normally spaced out as a static camera, so it normally tells you it's a static camera. Now watch what happens when I select static camera. Bang. Automatically, Facewear Live starts detecting your face. Automatically. Okay. But, as you can see down here, we've got two crosses. One, we're not calibrated. Okay. And two, we're not streaming. So what we need to do is start the calibration process. So very, very simply, hit calibrate face now keep a gaunt expression keep as still as you can and hit calibrate and then wait bang we're calibrated straight away now in order to start the stream process it's very simple right here you have two little plugs that we're going to join together and that will start our streaming process so watch what happens bang we are now streaming now if I open up here as you can see we've got our output uh, we're running at 28 frames per second, um, which is not bad, you know, it's not great, but it's the quality of the camera that I'm using. Obviously, the higher the quality of the camera, the better calibration um, you're going to get on your face. So, that's done, basically. That part of the uh, tutorial is done, and um, this is to get you going. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close out of this, and I'm going to open up Motion Builder. Uh, I'm going to come up to File, Open, and then I'm going to wing my way to my desktop, which I've got a model here called Victor, and I'm just going to load Victor up. Okay, so say hello to Victor. This is Victor. Okay, so it's a standard face um, that we're going to use to animate with. Now, once you install um, uh, uh, Live, um, Sorry about the coffee, my, my baby's in the same room and he's a very sleepy at the moment. Um, so once you install uh, uh, Live, whether it's to Motion Builder, Maya or Max, it will be here, if we open up in in, in Motion Builder, uh, Facebook Live will be here. So what I'm simply going to do is I'm just going to drag that in, okay? Now automatically, um, it's opened up our Facewear technology as we've dragged it in. And we've got a few settings here, so we've got our local host, uh, we can get some user guide, go to the website, and the server port. The server port is basically what you need to type in, so that won't be the same. So if I open up here, your port number is five, mine is 5373, um, and you will need to enter that in the server port. But first of all, we need to ins you know import our expression set. There is tutorials online on how to create an expression set for your model. Um, and I will try and do a tutorial on that as well um, during the week to help you guys out. This is just to show you how basically uh, Live 2.0 works. So I'm just going to import my expression set and I'm going to open up my little video here. I'm going to put that up here. Now, this is set up. 
and this is as easy as it's going to get so what we need to do we need to go online click online and watch what happens when I click live Bosch and there we are we are live we are motion capturing our face as you can see in 3d space live and we can do whatever we want to this model so watch I'll blink I'll wink like that never good at winking with two eyes I don't know this one works all right that one harder to wink with ha 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 Sniggy nose and it's absolutely first rate stuff it really is great piece of software so um, that's basically how Facebook Live works and you can actually use um, videos that you've created so if you create a movie and you want um, a digital character or an animated character in that scene um, you can basically add your video to the same doing the same sort of concept really but you're adding a video file so as you can see it moves really well even when I move my head he's cal calibrated quite nice and if I hold over my eye he does some weird stuff look right and then it recalibrates right so and because it's, because it's calibrated you can literally step out the scene step back into it and it will still work so that's basically the concept of Facewear Live 2.0 and even when I drag and move my model around as you can see I'm still talking so it's proper motion capture in all its glory no matter where I move so if I'm animating this model um, and he's moving sideways or sort of this way talking to someone I can talk and, uh, and animate him um, I can even sort of start recording this if I wanted to and do a little bit of an animation on this you know nothing to record it saying which is absolutely fantastic but obviously we need to create some cameras and do a bit of uh, animation work then we can record ourselves talking or doing what we need to do and that's basically it and the beauty of this software is it you know you don't have to use a human head you can use a monster's head you can use any sort of face you want to animate so I hope this has helped I hope you've enjoyed this quick uh, very sort of uh, upfront tutorial on how to use uh, live 2.0 and as always thanks for listening guys and I look really sort of weird there um, it's, um, let's go a bit forward there you go like I say the better the camera the better the track's going to be, the more smoother your animation set's going to be. So, as always guys, thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, which will be on another Facewear product. Um, and we're going to try and animate with a character, with a body, so on and so on, and see how we go. So, as always, thanks for listening guys, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Mwah!